Hello everyone. Can you identify this place? This is an empire where water is the king and shadow is the queen. Wondering what I'm talking about? I'm talking about desert. If you want to know more about this region, then must watch the full video. Deserts are found in areas where very little rainfall takes place. For example, the western part of India. Here you can find the Great Indian Desert, also known as the Thar Desert. It lies towards the western margins of the Aravalli Hills. Let us know the important features of the Indian Desert. First, it is an undulating sandy plain covered with sand dunes. What are sand dunes? Sand dunes are hills of sand. They are created when wind deposits sand on top of each other until a small mound starts to form. Sand dunes are of different types. For example, Barchans, Longitudinal, Transverse, Star and Blowout. Barchans and longitudinal sand dunes are commonly seen in India. But well, for that you will have to visit Jaisalmer, where you can see a group of barchans. Whereas longitudinal dunes become more prominent near the Indo-Pakistan boundary. I'm sure you'd be wondering how are they different from each other? So let us know about them. Barchans are crescent shaped sand dunes spread over larger areas. Whereas the large elongated dunes lying parallel to the prevailing wind direction are known as longitudinal dunes. Now let us know another feature of the Thar Desert. It receives very low rainfall below 150 mm per year. Hence, it has an arid climate. What does this arid climate mean? Arid climate is a climate in which there is an excess of evaporation over precipitation. Thus, the region is very hot and dry with low vegetation cover. Last but not the least, in the Thar Desert, you can find seasonal rivers. Seasonal rivers are the rivers that flow only in rainy season and remain dry mostly. For example, Luni River. It is the only river in the desert. It appears during the rainy season. But in the dry season, you cannot see this river because it disappears into the sand as it does not have enough water to reach the sea. I hope this is clear to you. So children, let us end today's class here. Do like and subscribe to my channel if you found my video interesting. Thank you everyone.